litigation costs, and punitive damages. Andrew. Well, after a weekend filled with lots of sunshine, we'll have a few extra clouds around for this Monday. Comfort index, though, an 8 out of 10. Yes, we have the morning chill out there with area-wide temperatures into the 30s, but for the afternoon, turning a little bit mild and breezy out there. Plan for a high temperature for today, right around that mid-60 degree mark. Hour by hour with First Alert Weather Future Track as we get started with a brand new work and school week. No chance of rain for today. Just again, at times, a few extra clouds, but still grab the sunglasses. Still expecting lots of sunshine to peak on through those clouds. And again, plan for a high temperature for today around 64 to 66 degrees. I do want a first alert ahead though to a pair of first alert weather days that are headed our way this week, Tuesday and Wednesday. And we may even have to add an additional day for at least Halloween morning as a cold front does arrive. What we're going to look at during Tuesday and Wednesday's first alert weather day, some very gusty wind. Make sure the Halloween decorations are secure Tuesday and Wednesday could have some gusts above 40 miles per hour. And we're also going to a dance around the record book by Tuesday, Wednesday, where Tuesday record high 79 degrees. Well, my forecasted high for Tuesday, 82 degrees. I think it's a sure bet that we smashed the record high for tomorrow set back in 1999, and we're going to get really close to tying or breaking the record high temperature for Wednesday this week as well. Set back in 1950. Right now we're forecasting a high of 80 degrees headed our way for midweek. So as we wrap up this month of October, it's going to feel more like the end of August than the end of October. Looking at our breeze for this afternoon for this Monday, nothing too terrible out there, but you may notice a few extra wind gusts at times up around 10 to 15, maybe upwards of 20 miles per hour. Then we transition over into Tuesday and Wednesday's first alert weather day. Check out our wind gusts by Tuesday morning. Could have a few gusts that are topping around 40, 45 miles per hour during the morning hours of Tuesday. An even stronger wind will start to head our way for Wednesday. We're Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon. I do want to first alert that we could have a few wind gusts at times up around that 50 mile per hour mark. And we're going to continue on with some more gusty wind likely right into the Halloween morning as a front does arrive. And with the dry ground, it's going to mean that fire danger is going to be quite high across Michiana during this two or three day period where we have this gusty wind with wind gusts around 40 miles per hour. Several Michiana communities are still under burn ban. So again, it is not a good idea to do any burning of any of those leaves that are falling from the trees over the course of the early portion of this week due to that elevation fire danger. But as we transition on into Halloween, we're going to start off the morning with the cold front arriving. That means some ghostly showers working their way through Michigan. But the good news is as long as this front still passes through in the morning hours, most of us go dry just in time for the trick or treaters for the evening. We're going to have some spooky afternoon high temperatures though that are going to fall down into the 50s and 40s and also some howling wind in the morning where we could have a few wind gusts maybe up around 50 55 miles per hour as this front does arrive. Timing this out for you hour by hour with our future track for Halloween. Look at the rain headed our way during Thursday morning and then by Thursday afternoon we shut off the raindrops and we'll see the chilly air arriving where we'll see our highs going from near 70 in the morning down into the 40s for those trick or treaters Halloween afternoon. Coming up in first alert weather, we're going to continue to look at a very active 10 day forecast that will get you prepared for not only Halloween, but daylight saving time this upcoming weekend. We also have election day now in our first alert 10 day forecast as well. So a busy morning here and a busy first alert 10 day to get us started with a brand new week. Keeping you hopping, I tell you. You know, <laughs> I'm thinking about my neighbors. They just put up the most elaborate display of Halloween inflatables oh. on their front on their front lawn. Yeah, maybe unplug them Tuesday and Wednesday. <laughs> Let them sink to the ground. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was just applauding them. I'm like driving by going, oh my goodness. Now the good news, I think again, the rain and the wind really decreases just in time yeah. for the trick or treaters. So oh, you'll be able to plug good. back in those inflatables around four o'clock Halloween and let them I do their thing. I mean, they're all going to be changing their <laughs> outfits by the yeah. time it comes. So, all right, good luck with all of that. Thank you, Andrew. Hey, now to new developments. Dozens of people reported getting sick after eating pizza from a Wisconsin.